Alright, so welcome back everyone to episode 13 of John and Eric's Adventures into Skyrim. We are right now camped outside, we have our happy little fire going, it's around 9pm. And what we are going to be doing today, I'll show you, is a rescue mission into Falkreath. We're going to be tracking down a, uh, so this is one of the like common the bandit leader quest in swindler's den which is where um the uh, the, the red guards the alakir warriors were i'm pretty sure was in swindler's den so i think it replaced where they were with actual bosses so that's going to be like super easy and then so that was where is it down over here we're gonna start riding down here we're gonna make our way up to swindler's den and then I was thinking today, we're just going to take on Fort Greymore. We've passed it so many times. And I think John and Eric have gone, you know, back and forth, knowing that these bandits raid not only Rorikstead, but cause trouble for travelers along the road, preying off people. That's what basically happened to Greymore, right? As well, you know, some of the battles that happened here. So they're not a big fan of people preying off innocents. So they're feeling really confident now. And they're gonna take on Fort Greymore, which, which you know, it, it and it's basically bandits. the other thing that I want to look into, and this is most likely going to be next episode, is that I would like to upgrade their armor. So we've been strutting around in mostly orcish armor. We have a couple pairs of uh, Nordic equipment. And I think they are looking at this equipment saying, this is really nice stuff. We want more of this. And so earlier today, they went and they talked with Yorling Greyman about like, what, what can you tell us about this Nordic style of smithing? And he said, well, you're pretty close to being able to smith it, right? We need five more smithing levels. And in order to make it, what you have to do is you have to combine Quicksilver with Ebony. There's a Quicksilver mine in Dawnstar. There's an Ebony mine managed by the Orcs over near Wind. I can't, personally, I can't remember where it is. And so I'm just going to have to do some research. And so John and Eric are like, okay, we, uh, you know, they're, they're going to clear out some of these missions that they have. And then they're going to go on an adventure to learn more about how they can collect the materials to smith their own armor to become official Nordic heroes. Because they're Nords, after all, right? And so why why not go around in full Nordic gear as Nordic heroes? It just makes sense. And so one thing we're going to do, I forgot to do this, is uh, call the horse here. One of the other things is that we've been experiencing problems with Eric's horse. Where, where oh my goodness uh, <laughs> so eric's horse her name is happy doesn't he doesn't oh my god hi ayla what's up um he doesn't seem to get on her properly it's kind of a, a big you know it's it's a big screw up so what i'm gonna be doing is tomorrow um when we wake up tomorrow in the morning I'm going to be adjusting a few settings so that it was like an early, earlier in the uh, series where Eric would summon a horse. Because now that he has like a legitimately acquired horse, it's the one that he would just randomly summon, we're going to abandon the horse that we have and give him back that power so that it's embedded within, uh, what is the, it's follower live package is what the mod is and that's kind of a technical limitation that we have to work around you have to do what you can right so that's going to be what we're working on. um I, the reason i called over our horse here was because was it i can't remember um it was maybe i already have it in my inventory here yeah we're up to uh 10, 000 gold almost exactly ten thousand gold that's but, uh, no, we'll sleep and then pack it all up in the morning. We'll do... Really weird, crazy bugs. You gotta love them, though. We, uh, we might run into the inn to grab any extra beefs. Do they have? 
we're always short on beef stew. Until we have like five of them. Oh, so you're an alchemist then. So one at a time here. Get it? Nice. There we go. That is exactly what I was expecting, was that we were going to get a level up out of that. And uh, look, she's out of gold, too. We're up to 14,000 gold. I say we do. We've already used our training for this level. We're up to six perks. We have six unused perks. And let's, let's spend some of these perks, okay? Silver Tongue, prices are 10% better with the opposite gender, and you're 25%, or 3x more intimidating. Or what's the next one up here? Like leadership? Perk into that. We're not really a pickpocket. What's this next one here? 45? We're pretty close to that. Um, and then you can attempt to open expert locks. That'll be pretty good, right? We could throw one in a sneak, but heavy armor nullifies the bonus, so we're pointing doing that. Or evasion. Marksman? Yeah. Not, right? 20% uh, better damage, minus 50% weight penalties. Um, lock, power bashes. Power bashing might be useful when we like really need it. And then what we want to do is, uh, so I looked, advanced blacksmithing doesn't actually give us any of the things we want. Uh, because the plate armor, exotic weapons, there's there's really not much we can do. We can't advance any of our, um, what is word? The, the rating, I guess, that you get. So, like, the, the first raid, well made. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words. Maybe that won't improve if we take that next perk. We need to just upgrade to a new room. And so we might even craft a new uh, hunting knife. Just getting that. While we're at it, we can request those to be crafted for us. I, it occurs to me that we probably should have done that a long time ago. We could just order them. Anyway. That, again, that'll be next episode, right? All the smithing and whatnot will be next episode. So we, uh, Good to see you again. Venture around. Um, can you give me a full meal? Of course. Sated, well fed. Nice. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Uh, beef stew. Do you have any raw beef? I don't see any raw beef. Okay. Be careful that way. And then... I think what we'll do is we will run... Before I take any of the, uh, the buffs, we'll ride out down to here, the... Bile Gulch Mine, I think is how you pronounce that. And then when we're right around here, we'll take all of our buffs, and that's what we'll do. See you then. All right, so we're passing through, and one of the things that we see here is the Thalmor. And we're not really a big fan of the Thalmor, so we're going to troll them. All ready for this? I'm going to put our horse here safely. Can I get off my horse, please? And can I get off my horse, please? Oh, right. That death sound is, uh... The horse despawning. Here's the idea. We aggro them. And then we run. And we're gonna see if we can aggro these guys. You're interfering with official Walk away. I'm being attacked! Help! Come on! Come on! Somebody help! <laughs> oh, is that it? That was it? I gotta be honest, that was a little disappointing. Well, there's some payment for Eric, but was it really that easy? Looks like there's another exit somewhere, but this is it. Okay, so. I'm 
somebody say somebody help? Eric. Oh shit! What the hell? All right, I guess we're going in with no potions. What the fuck's going on? So here's the outside. Did we save her? So, so there was one guy. I don't. Th I think we still have to go inside to clear it. But. Thank the divines. Let's move. Oh no! We have to escort her. <laughs> um, we are gonna clear this location. God, we have to escort her back. Ah. All right. Well, who's the guy that I just whacked? I think he was outside, right? I heard, I heard her cry out, and I was like, what the hell was that? Uh, yeah, we'll take all the first stuff. And for now, jump it on the horse. Um, yeah, iron sword. All of this, blah, blah, blah. What's taking up my inventory here? These fragments probably aren't helping at all. Um, all of our kits here definitely aren't helping at all. That's definitely a lot better. Whoa, okay, that was a save. Is she... Can I... Whoa, how, how many Orcish arrows was that? Well, I just gonna like... Please get me home. No, we're not done yet. Why are you gonna follow me up? I wanna clear this site. We're not leaving. This quest is really weird. Like, I don't know how she managed to escape, but hey, Amulet of Talos. Um, the other thing we're gonna do. Ugh. Oh, crap. I thought he had a, um, a crossbow. I'm trying to take a stew, but. It's like we, once again, didn't really need it. You guys are just kind of throwing themselves at us. All the ladies are jealous. These men are throwing themselves at us. Uh, yeah, we're gonna break all this down. So, do it really quickly. Eat, 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 eat. And... Yeah, we'll do those too. Great. Ugh. Just feels right, some. What do you want me to carry? I was hoping that would be good enough, but. Let me know if you need anything. All right, are we hidden? Are we out of combat? I don't think she. Uh... It's hard to tell. <laughs> that was Bouncer. Damn, Eric. Nice job. All right, the key's here. And we know where it is. We might come back for it. Yeah. It's more calcium in here, but... I'm gonna harvest it. That is an expert chest. So... I think we will... That raw beef... I wonder what they mine from these walls. I I don't know, Eric. That's That's a good question. Oh, uh, alright. Corundum, yeah, we'll take iron. Orcish boots of muffling. Sneaking is improved by 25%. But they're heavy armor? I don't I don't know if that works, 
right? We'll take that. Two orcish swords. Potions, gold, major destruction. From bow. Bad, not bad. 48 orcish arrows. I don't think we ever equipped that ring, by the way. That we... Yeah, minor blocking. So now we have a ring as part of the set. Is there any way? I don't know if I can make enough. If I can sure give him any more stuff. Like, yeah, his his inventory is pretty much now. full. So I might be able to break some stuff down here, but like it, it doesn't really look like it. I don't even have the ability to break down uh, the orcish equipment. We'll have to figure out what to do. What's in this barrel? We can stick stick everything into here for now. I'm back out. That thing. Two orcish swords, right? 66 orcish arrows now. We still have our full inventory. This is part of the fun part, right? Inventory management. Hmm. Too. At least now we'll be able to go down deeper and kill anybody else who might be a problem. Wow, look at this place. I mean, if we actually needed orcish armor, this place would be great, but... Nope, looks like that's it. So I, I did a like an inventory clearing for nothing. Does it, does it show up as cleared now? Yeah, it shows up as cleared at the top. Excellent. So, what I'm gonna do here is we'll take all this, right? We're gonna wiggle our way back outside and we'll take everything this guy has too. We'll, uh, yeah, orcish battle axe. Glad we didn't get hit with that. Maybe. So, we'll wiggle our way back out and then we're going to bring our happy little follower here down to Falk Reef. And then we'll just travel back up to the outside of Swimmer's Den. So uh, we'll catch us all outside Swimmer's Den. So I will see you there. Is that a steel helmet on the floor? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, steel helmet. Free iron ingots. So what we're gonna do is we're storing all of the, uh, heavy stuff that we have in here. Right, all the extra orcish stuff, all our plate stuff, all of these. Probably the hide shields because they're, they're kind of not worth me carrying. Those, what else? Apparently I have two wood in my inventory. Oh yeah, from wood that I harvested. I'll probably just leave those here because uh, it's difficult enough as it is. And then we'll drop off like the 50 arrow. Which, get, wow, that gave us like a lot of weight. All right, that'll give us more to work with. Um, this den probably hasn't reset, only the bosses have reset at the very end. So that's why I'm not taking any potions or anything. Time to end Whoa, crap! Okay, this did reset. Look at that, we're uh, successfully hidden. Okay, so we are gonna need some stews for this. Yeah, we'll do a, um, do an Ashiam stew, that should be fine, right? And we'll do a beef stew too, just to make sure we're all set. We'll drink some water, because I think I was thirsty as well. And there we go. Should be good. I don't think we're gonna need much more than that. These are just bandits. Hey, you sounded more exciting than the bard's songs. 
Guys in freaking full something. Alright, how you doing? Nice. Eric! <laughs> Eric's just casually, what was that? Oh, I can't perform rights on this person. A little weird. Are we in combat? We are. Come on. Oh, you think you can bust through this, huh? There you go. Whoa! What, what, what the heck was that? Where's Eric? I should have given Eric a healing aura. Eric, you wanna go in? All right, hold on. Piece of cake. We'll do a uh, rude healing potion. Still in combat. By whom? Yeah, see, it won't let us perform RK's rights while we're in combat. And then they expire after, like, I don't know, two or three minutes. Well, that's a little frustrating. Because I would very much like to do that. What was this person wearing? Uh, Nordic chest plate is what we've been looking for. Wow. How do we, how do we be hidden again? Why are we not hiding? Is there like an amount of time that they have to? There we go, okay. Hidden, now we can start doing a couple of these. shall suffer no more. We're gonna have to come back and loot later, right? It's our Horker Stewart. Yeah, man, that is excellent that we picked up one of those. We'll uh, take this though. I'm also genuinely surprised that this reset, like I kind of ran in like willy nilly. Well, I knew there were, well, th there was nobody outside, right? And I guess it would make sense that it wouldn't reset outside because that's kind of like a typical space. Oh, this person. Okay, yeah. We'll come back. I'm just showing what they all have, and uh, again, we'll deal with the, the looting later. Just to see if they have anything interesting, which it looks like most of them. Some wolf scrolls, though. Yep, yeah. yeah, just junk bandits. Moving right along. No? What are you in here? Okay. Fine. There's supposed I mean somebody else had detected us, so I'm a little bit surprised that uh there, engraved bone of her seen drained. Oh, oh, that's mine. That's my engraved bone of her seen drained. <laughs> and it's her individuals with personalities or hobbies. They, they are, but 
This is the life they've chosen. They didn't... They did the crime without wanting to do the time. So now... They, they die by the sword. Alright, you hold Americ, because there's somebody with a crossbow. Fish him out here. Ow. Oh. Another one? Are you serious? So we don't have to craft these now because we already found them? What are the chances of that? Holy cow. I am flabbergasted that we would get two of these. I'm gonna take one of them just to make sure we at least have one in case something weird happens, right? Here, no, get back here. I wanna try and get her up on dry land here. Please. Damn. That is amazing. Did this reset? Looks, uh, well, you can't tell. We didn't take anything or everything from it last time. Yeah, so this didn't reset fully, but all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to collect all of the items. Uh, we, we left a bunch of stuff outside just to make sure that, like, outside Swindler's End to make sure that we can carry everything. And then we are going to head to Fort Graymore and clear that out and then turn in everything back in here. So I will see you out. I'll see you all outside of Fort Graymore, and we're gonna go in and clear all of that. Well, that was fantastic. Um. <laughs> so. Now we have to pick up all this stuff, right? Uh, I am going to be more selective about what we choose. We're not going to take the hide shields. We will take all of the orcish stuff. We're not going to take the apples, but we'll take the apples. I don't want to deal with some extra firewood. Now we're over in cover. Where's my horse? So I, I hit H to call my horse, but I do not see my horse. We'll do our first load into Swindler's Den and then we'll go back outside immediately. Uh, yeah, it should be fine because we did like, a, like an F5. over was was my horse killed by this woman this so this doesn't really count we're uh what the fuck is this was my horse killed I think I'm gonna call it. I think the, uh, oh, well, hold. let me think. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think we're gonna say the horse is stolen, right? We come out here and we can't call the horse and we're calling and we're looking and we can't find it. And then we realize that we left it unattended. So it must have been stolen. It's the only possible explanation. We, we still have all of this stuff, though, right? But... What's that? 
Why can I still run with this carry weight? I don't know, but we're, we're gonna go with it. So we're gonna continue on to Fort Greymore and clear that out. And then we're gonna go turn in these quests and uh, we'll continue our adventure, right? We're gonna move on because sometimes when you're adventuring, bad stuff happens. That's the way it goes. We're also gonna assume that Eric's horse was stolen too because he technically had a horse. And so both of our horses were stolen. All right, yeah, that's going in the YouTube video. That's what happened. <laughs> Damn. I do appreciate whatever bug I'm currently... Whoa, crap, crap, crap. Whatever bug I'm experiencing that allows me to sprint with... Um... Oh, I'm in God mode. Oops. Yeah, there we go. I was like, why can I, why can I sprint without using any stamina? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I can't. First, I thought I'd miss one. Use you. Be sure to put but... it to good use. So his inventory's full. Oh, what's what's Eric carrying here? Ton of iron. Um. Let me know if there's anything else you need. What we're gonna do is just in... Oops. In the interest of sanity, like our sanity, we're going to... Uh, oh my god, there's a freaking saber cat there. In the interest of our sanity, I'm just gonna toggle god mode and move to the fort. And... Because I don't want this stream to go on forever. I'm, I'm frustrated that, so, so I had assumed because there wasn't a bandit outside Music Man with the raid, welcome everyone. We, uh, you guys missed with, what, what was that raid with? 129 viewers. Uh, you got here just in time. Um, I ran in with God mode because our horse was stolen. And I don't want this stream to last for three hours. To Al Infinity and beyond. Thank you guys so much. Music Man with the resub for 28 months. It's been a rough night. It's been a really rough night. So we went into a cave. And apparently while we were in that cave, a bandit came and slaughtered our horse. And we lost about... Probably twenty to 30,000 gold worth of stuff. And now that we don't have a horse, we can't really carry all of our stuff around. So we're temporarily dumping everything we own into this chest. I'm just happy I didn't keep all of my gems on this, right? It just feels right. So we're going to clear Eric's inventory too as we uh, clear out this... Uh, keep here. It's basically the last thing we're going to be doing this evening. Uh, yeah, I'll just take all these. Thank you, Eric. And and again, luckily we had some things stored Let me know if you need anything. in a crate, just because we had been picking up so much stuff. Right? No more horsing around? Yeah, that's exactly what it means. So, once I clear my inventory, like this, right? Luckily I didn't have this on my horse, which is worth 12,000 gold. Summons a storm at Trinoc, which is like super powerful and will eat your face. Uh, here, we'll toss some of these. Ah, uh, okay, sure. You know what? Fine. Whatever. You can see I'm a little impatient right now, just because we we stepped out of the uh, we stepped out of the cave carrying all this loot without our horse there to to put it on. How are we doing now? Um. Oh, look, there's another guy over there. So first, first we're going to quickly take care of this guy here. That's close enough, he says. No, no, no. Yeah, quite a surprise, bro. 
We'll pick his stuff up later. Um, there's also one other that we have to kill, so I'm gonna go up and get him. Oh, I knew we hadn't cleared this place out. And then the, I believe there's one more. Oh, okay, there's two more. Ah! Got me, damn. Come on. There we go. So we're just trying to clear all the enemies really quickly. There they are. Piece of cake. As I was saying, we'll do another quick save here. And I will show you everything that was on this horse. Um, it looks like this was one of the quick saves we can Because the horse was still alive. So we, we entered into the cave and then we immediately left to see what was up. Seated Mold, how you doing? Uh, it, it's been not good. <laughs> and I'll show you why. Did you hear something? So we exited and we're immediately under attack and we're like, what the hell? There was our horse. And there's this freaking level 24 bandit. Which we'll just take care of really. And then this guy. No, Eric, this is just an alternate universe. They had some pretty good loot too, like a shield, right? Worth 600 gold. So let me show you all of the things that we lost off of our horse. And I'm gonna do a quick save here so that I can, cause I'm gonna inventory this a little bit later. We lost the Blade of Falkreath, which was a rare priceless blade that I was gonna mount on the wall. Um, we lost some, some other stuff, Nettlebane, which was worth 2,000 gold. Uh, a Staff of Flame Atronach, worth 4,000 gold that allowed you to summon one. Um, these, which boosted your smithing skill by nine points, so I'm pretty pissed off we lost this. Like, re wait a minute, we could have used this in order to um, smith the Nordic gear. It didn't even occur to me that, well, no, we, we need to uh, get level 55 to perk it. Um, we lost some Mammoth Meat, which is kind of difficult to get, but we lost all of my alchemy ingredients. All of them. Everything. All of them. All of them! All of them! We had freaking, like, three vampire dust. What's, what's the most valuable thing we lost here, right? I mean, luckily I had tried everything. We had five Nern Root. Um, yeah, Mammoth Heart. 10 Moon Sugar, 17 Imp Stool, 10 Giant's Toe. I wonder how much salt I lost. 50 uh, Blue Mountain Flowers, 17 Animal Fat, and then, oh no, we don't have a tent anymore. We lost our goat that we were gonna skin. We lost all of our soul gems. All of my translation tomes here. 13 large bones that you can use for like crafting and stuff. <sighs> That's okay. This is fine, right? So now we're here. Uh, Kelsey, thank you very much for following. Uh, but that's okay. We're gonna go in. We're gonna end our stream with some combat. We have 12 more minutes on our beef stew buff, 35 minutes on our stamina regen buff. And now that I'm really pissed off, we're gonna go in and beat the crap out of everyone. And I'm going to enjoy this because usually I'm pretty chill during my streams. But, uh, and, and I mean, luckily, like we still have all of my gems here. Like we, what's, what would you say? Do we have any diamond? We don't have any diamond, but that's too bad, right? Like four flawless sapphires, right? So, and, and we still have 13,000 gold. So we're not like poor, we're not that poor. We'll be okay. It's just very frustrating. I'd, I'd say we probably lost about 20,000 gold worth of stuff. Is, is a good estimate. 
but Where is everyone? Oh! Whoa! Out of the way, lady! Eric's on fire. We're being shot by. Ah! Eric, hit him! Ooh. Let's see, what else we got? Ah, uh, there they are. Um, Alright, we're doing good. Pretty good. Let's run upstairs, see what we get. Anything else? No? Dead Imperial. It's too bad. Um, I think this is a skill book. Take it anyway. We're leaving the looting for later. I wonder what great yeah. battles we fought here. Loot the antlers off of that if we really wanted to. This is this is a uh, I think a, a master chest. So three flawless garnets. Not bad. Nice necklace, healing poultice, uh, uh, gold. Okay. You know it's okay. Nothing ridiculous. Now let's head down to the basement. We should find a few more enemies down there. Uh, now that's back out to the exit. Is somebody back in here? Here, we'll we'll break into this room. There? No, maybe more. Less. What about there? Should do it. And yeah, we'll just take all that. Great potions, gold, mammoth tusk, right? Yeah, mammoth skull. Uh, yeah. They were torturing some people in here. <sighs> Definitely wouldn't want to take that to the back. Right, uh, we probably wouldn't survive that. Oh, all the skeevers are dead. Good. Normally they're just kind of cruising around here, doing whatever. What's down here? This is like a, yeah, sewer entrance, a secret entrance. Uh, we'll go back through and loot all those in a moment. Anybody else? No, maybe there's a, uh... oh, okay, I know where we have to go. I can't even keep track of all the people who have been in and out of this fort. They come, they go. <laughs> She's pretty chill. Which which was funny that like she was walking through the middle of combat. Where was the guy with that staff? Where did we chuck his body? Here he is, right? Lightning sparks. Not bad. We'll just pick it up right now. Amber, fast healing scroll. Too bad he wasn't fast enough. So there's one more area that we can run into to, uh, to fit that we have to finish off. And that is, I think it's, let's see. Sweets, thank you very much for following. Was it over here? Yeah, it's this door. Oh, sweet shenanigans. Take all that, take your cloak. Cloaks have really good weight to value ratio, so we just kind of egg. Anything over here? Random boots, we'll grab those in a moment. And uh, what do you have? Some gold, other stuff we'll grab soon. Uh, guess what else? Uh, what else? What did I What was that? Oh, okay, she's... Eric hit her! Time to finish this. Eric! Oh, 
Nice. Oh, she took Skuma right before, so that could have ended pretty badly. Plate equipment, really valuable. Ooh, two gems. Nice. And a beef stew. Pick up all her stuff on the way back. Uh, oh. Huh. Yeah, looks like they had a lot of, uh... Don't do skooma, kids. Here, one more person, and there's only one way to deal with a person. Whoa! Okay. Drill of ice spike. Fire sparks. And then uh, an expert expert cage there. I don't think we'll be able to get that thing open. Some blood from that. Criminals running around with their beef stew. Uh, old grimoire. Ooh, I don't, I don't know what the heck this is, but uh, it occurred to me that the value of the horse that we lost was also 6,000 gold. As, as I was looking at this, well, we'll grab this. All right, so we're back in Whiterun. We, uh, we fast forwarded a little bit, but that's okay, right? Just because for, for viewers, I didn't want to show. Oh, so Eric, Eric had to take, you know, his cut of the gold, right? 500 gold. He sends his gold back to his father. That's what we do. So, Eric, if I could please have just feels right, I'm all of serious. your items that we have here. Um, at least we still have our pickaxe and uh, woodcutting axe. Those? We still have this thing, too. Worth nearly 3,000 gold. So, there's a couple things I didn't keep on the horse, right? These... Basically everything except... If there's any way We're up to a thousand carry weight, and we still have everything in here too. So we we didn't completely lose all of our smithing. Items. That's you know, you have to be positive in these things, right? Uh, so we'll drop all the orcish stuff. An iron knife for some reason. It's fine. A little weird, but fine. And a lot of stuff that we're gonna break down. So I'll be figuring out how to go through my inventory on the uh, next episode. We're just going to turn in the... Uh... Oh, okay. Turn in the quest right now, and that'll be the end of our stream. So we got so much iron, so much steel. The small bones. Gold. Nice. And I can officially move again. This please Hooray! So, where do we turn in our quest, right? Collect the bounty. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna butcher your name. Uh, Anth Anthalea, I think? Thank you very much for following. It's been a long day. It's, uh, it's almost 11.30. Normally I'd be going to bed right about now, so. But, uh, yep, we return to companions, and then we are going to go up to cloud district and turn in oh good look the tree reset we we just did this quest so there we go gilder green is or gilder green is back how beautiful it looks okay so that's another positive note too nice oh There we go. Come to we'll me turn this questions. in. I rescued Nari. So I hear you brought honor to the companions and yourself. 800 gold, not bad. All right then. Uh, we'll look for work in a little bit. One thing I am gonna quickly do is throw five levels into healing. We, we got a level up and so I should be able to find her. Use a trainer to get five more levels. Not right? No. Uh, I don't see her. In the office, maybe. I don't want to spend too much time looking for her. 
take away your strength. But the smallest, what's that? To the end. Yeah, she could be walking around anywhere, so. Hm. That's okay. Now we run up, and we'll do our final quest turn in. And I'll, uh, I'll come up with a plan on what the heck we're gonna do for the next stream, because losing a bunch of items and our, uh, horse is a big bummer. I guess we should have bought a house. That was that's kind of the lesson, right? Is buy a house and guard your stuff. So that might be I think that's going to what be in, what it's what inspires John and Eric that they need to buy a house. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Uh the bandit leader is dead. There's one more bandit with two horses running around now. us a great service. Here is your reward. Well, at least we got 500 gold Enjoy for that. Dragon's Reach. All right, so I think we're gonna call the episode right there. Thank you very much for viewing, everyone. I'll uh, figure out what the plan is for the next episode. So, good night.